some three weight classes and then award two weight classes. And then following that, after every three, three weight classes will be presented. Here are the championship matches in the 103 pound weight class. In Division 3, wrestling on mat number 3, about 222. From LaGrange and Keystone, a state placer with a 37 and 3 record, sophomore Brian Spangler. From Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy with a 36 and 5 record, freshman Nathan Tomasello.
it's going to be a 4 0 lead for BJ Miller. Defiance. Attention wrestlers, those third through eighth place finishers. For 112, please report to the award staging area and enter through the bullpen, please. Another run head letter R. Those guys hand the shoulders to trouble. And up on out. In 103 and 112. Okay, it's going to wind down. It's going to be a 4 0 lead. And then going to the third for PJ Miller. Defiance. After wrestling, please report to the award staging area.
settle with two, the last two wins, less than ten did Russell. Marquee matchup, the one everybody came for. It's 2 1 Mitch after that crazy double act. Two 
his feet. We're gonna face off, Mitch is gonna get one. Get a 5-1 lead with 22 seconds left in the second period. Looking ankle pick, two, take down Mitch. He's gonna drag him back, he's gonna get it even if he didn't get it. That's two take down no matter what. Good call. 12 seconds left. Second period, seven, one time in.
from Marysville, undefeated at 43-0 with two state places, senior Jake McCombs. From Lakewood St. Edward, a two-time state placer, a former state champion with a 34-3 record, senior Gus Seiko. Division two championship match. But Julius only lost to Steve this year at the Iron Man. He has absolutely been on a tear ever since. He's won cheese he's won top gun. He won state last year, he's in on a shot on Stone. He's got Stone in trouble. To Julius. Got stone, hit him with the barrel roll. No near falls. Ladies and gentlemen, the last reminder the U.S. Olympian Ken Shirtown Silver Medal Training Camp has two weeks of personalized instruction in Ohio this summer. Camp will be conducted in the near falls. Stelling. 
45 seconds of the second period. Stone unable to get anything going right now. Julius doing a beautiful job. Nice 
at all. No takedown yet. Two takedown Jordan. Falcons already one champion today.
once again we're in the lead. Jordan Winters, Jordan, 4 1 lead. Winters staging area. Dominating the top right now. Power half right there. Left in the match, Will Jordan. Looking for his first team title, he's a freshman. Mellinger, a senior from Beloit West Bridge. Please remember that you can visit the website www.ohsaa.org. Still warning on Jordan.
top. Second snatch, Matt return.
five on Jordan. Remy needs a takedown. Here we go, 140 pounds. We got Felipe Martinez from St. Paris Graham. He's going up against Tarka Armstrong Spring from Kenton Ridge. Two state champions come battling out here for the 140 pound title. Felipe Martinez taking a shot. Took arm, strong spring. Looking for Jack Pusher here. Trying to come out from the end. Felipe Martinez able to adjust as he gets pushed out of bounds, going back to the center. 30 seconds, burn off this first period clock. You got two guys here coming to the mat and both 100% believe that they're going to win. And Tucker, Tucker defending against the inside single by Felipe Martinez. Takes an ill advised counter shot. It's Dalmate coming back to the center. 50 seconds. Now burn off his first period clock, so we're at 110. Again, Martinez looking for that head inside shot that he could easily switch off to a double from. Be just trying to shoot a double and, and Armstrong spring be able to block. And there he's got that inside single. Again, looking the inside single and then looking right back for a possible double. 34 seconds left to go in the first period clock. Oh no! Felipe Martinez half for a split second. And Tug Armstrong springs in trouble here. He's going to get taken down. 25 seconds left to go in this first period. Felipe Martinez going after it and going after the same move, same move. Finally catches Tug Armstrong spring. And Tucker now, 15 seconds to get out. Looking to square up here. Looking to hop over. Felipe, got to be careful. Nothing, nothing. Wow, two to nothing. And Felipe Martinez got you down. Felipe getting set. Talk to cover. A very, very slow start. No first moves by really either, either wrestler. I'm looking here for a dump. Tug Armstrong spray looking. Oh, you're baiting him, baiting him. He had that move ready. And Felipe Martinez is out of it. And here's important, important times here. Tug Armstrong, Armstrong just getting out. Mm. 
So three to nothing, Philippa in control of this match. Minute 18 left to go in the second period. Felipe looking for a double. Tucker getting his arm in there in the wizard. Now Felipe have a front headlock. Look at the throwing by, look at this. Oh, nice scramble there. Felipe to get out of it. Three to nothing, 49 seconds left. Two state champions, Buccaneers here, and Felipe Martinez again, that sick double. And he's gonna get taken down. Or he's gonna get another takedown. Up five to nothing. Felipe gonna hang on. Tucker gonna choose down. He's looking to get his first points of the match. He's down five to nothing. Felipe getting to take down each period so far. Tucker in trouble down here as putting both legs in now looking for power half here is Felipe. Seven to nothing. Four seconds left. Tucker Armstrong spring has to really get something going. And we get a warning for Stalin to Felipe and Martinez. Here we go, 17 seconds left. Targa Armstrong gonna be looking for big moves here. And Felipe Martinez. Gonna win a state championship here, convincing fashion, a score of seven to one.
145 pounds, we got Eden Miller from Oak Harbor. He's going up against Dylan Ice from Lisbon Beaver. Oh, Eden Miller catching Lisbon. And he gets his two. He's up two to nothing right away. So up two to one after Lisbon Be Beaver Dillon's ice gets an escape. Oh, and nice to a fireman. Looking for a back push. He's gonna get it. Miller! He's got Dylan Ice on his back. Now up five, seven to one. After that, that five point combination. Dylan Ice, like he takes a bad shot. Ian Miller. Attacking, locking up the cradle, spinning behind, getting his two, nine to two. Take, takes a bad shot, Dylan Ice, counter shot, nothing. Oh, putting on a clinic here, 11 to three. Ian Miller up. Seconds left in the first period. Ian Miller up eight, 11 to three. He's got eight point differential already. <laughs> Ian Miller right now just looks more dominant here. Choosing down. And he gets his escape. Gets his one point now up 12 to three. A minute 50. Only 10 seconds left burnt of the second period clock. Dylan Ice takes a shot. Ian Miller throws it by. He gets his two, looking for more. As he's got Dylan Ice on, on his back, looking for a pin. And a butcher. And Dylan fighting off. We got potentially dangerous. Knock to three on the back, making it 17 to three. And we're gonna go neutral. 17 to four. A takedown here is a tech fall. And that's two to tech. 19 to four. Ian Miller, state champion, in dominant fashion, tech fall fashion here in the finals. First state championship. Here we go, 152 pounds. We got Harrison Hightower from Huntington Valley. He's gonna be going up against Connor Witt from Oak Harbor. Feeling each other out here. Pearson Hightower getting some fakes in. Not going for a shot. He's in on it. Connor Witt trying to scramble.
Connor Witt. Interesting position here. He's trying to get his hips separated. Uh, loses that ankle. Not good. Doesn't want to fall to that hip. And he's really close to going out of bounds as well. Trying to get back his hips on top. And now looking to roll through. Harrison Hightower onto it. And Harrison Hightower might get a takedown here at the edge. And he is. He's got a takedown. And that's big. Able to manipulate that situation, find a way to get a takedown. He was in advantage. He shot out from quite a distance to get his head inside single. Reached it in, pulled it in. Little by little, worked his way to get a takedown. 27 seconds left to go in the first period. Real important for Connor Witt to get an escape here. As he gets set, high tower to cover. Witt. Oh, we got. Potentially dangerous, good call there as the arm was locked in a weird position. Connor Wick in set, high tower to cover. Unable to get the escape. He's up two to no or down two to nothing. Coming in a second. High tower on to fur. Connor Wick on to choose neutral. Oh, nice slow single there. Connor Wick just reaching out, grabbing it, catching. High tower, flat footed. Now high tower though, in a good position. Gotta give him two like that. Oh, I, I did not think that was two, but now it's definitely two. Connor Witt getting deep. Losing the scramble though. And Connor Witt now trying to clear his arm. He's awfully high here, Connor Witt. Trying to shake him off. Got plenty of time. Can he shake him off? Because Hightower just trying to get underneath those arms, Hightower is. He does, he sits back a little bit. 51 seconds left. U.S. mate. part of this match. Story for Connor Witt is he's got to improve on bottom in the offseason. Still down four to nothing here, still within reach. But having a guy ride you like this for much of the second period and a full 30 seconds of the end of the first period takes a wearing on you. Emotion, mentally and physically. Ooh, we got potentially dangerous there. Here's an tire put in the legs, gonna finish this period up on top. Four to nothing. He's going to the third, it's his choice. He's gonna choose down. I tell her set. 
Ready for those hands. So now up five to nothing. And go out of bounds. Hightower reaching for a shot, blocking his counter and whip. 136 left to go. A nice face there by Hightower. Hightower now getting in. And Connor's going to try and scramble again. He, so far, he hasn't been successful. He's got Cradle here. Look at him throw it over. He's throwing it over. Did he get, did he get back there? Nothing. Nothing. Wow. That could have been a five point move. Exactly what Connor Witt needed. Harrison Hightower hanging on. He's hanging on for that stalemate. Wow. Nice job. Connor Witt never letting up there. And he saw an opportunity and he almost killed it. Hightower, another bad shot. Locking his legs again, looking for a stalemate. He will be hitting on here. Step over here, get another takedown. Thirteen seconds left. Connor Witt again defending the shot of Harrison Hightower, even with him down being five nothing. Connor Witt. Gotta come up short here. Okay, takedown right at the end. But he wins it. Five to two. Harrison Hightower dies. And he is your state champion for Ohio Division Two.
runner up. Freshman, sixth, and sophomore. Four classes of junior. Looking for a tie on power line, defending champ. Double. 
unable to score though. Wookie forced all the action, pushing him. Ryan just waiting. Thank <laughs> you. 
takedown. He's up too well.
shot, it's 5 2. Take down, I got no many good. Houston Evans is going to get a title. Sophomore gets a title. 171 pounds, Division 2. Houston Evans, your champ.
second stuff to First period, no score between Erb, who's in the green ankle band, Jake Harrison, Tony Central Catholic, who's in the red ankle band.
There's seven seconds left. One, one. Someone's gotta go get this. Herb taking all the shots. There's a stall running on Henderson. He's really done nothing.
15 pounds. In Division 2 on Band 2, belt 260. From Thornville, Sheridan, with a 44 and 1 record, senior Drew Carpenter. From Toledo, Central Catholic, with a 17 and 3 record, returning state placer, senior Vincenzo Cardone. And on that one in Division One, about 259, from Wadsworth, two-time state placer with a 44 and four record, senior Ben Buzelli. And from Rexville Broadview Heights with a 37 and five record, senior Billy Vaughn. Carpenter Cadone. Carpenter looks snatch single right away. Cardone undersized. Hangs around and just wins. He's a senior, 17 and 3.
over or under. <laughs> One twelve left in the second. He's undersized. Carpenter snaps him, shoves him out of bounds. There's a stall on him. One for Carpenter. Now Cardone going to have to get something going. See how he reacts here. Carpenter is pushing him around. Snapping him, moving him, doing what he wants. Tied up one to one. Carpenter, a little snatch single attempt. End of the period, it's going to be tied 1 1. Escape for Cardone. And a stalling point for Carpenter. Carpenter going down. Caution, Cardone. Yeah. 